Hey YouTube, Magma Rhino here. I just want to show you how far I've gotten uh, progress-wise with the ROM comparison. As you can see, I'm pretty much done with three, uh, Stock, AOKP, and Team EOS. Um, slots I still haven't filled in. Actually, I think i filled in all of the ones that I can for now, but um, the performance, battery, and um, boot time, those are going to be kind of comparison-wise. Like, there's going to be the raw score, and then there's going to be um, scaled on a factor of 1 to 10, 1 being the lowest score, 10 being the highest, and the other two will fall somewhere in between, and the amount of points they get will depend on where they are in comparison to the others. Um, same with battery life and boot time. Now, the most recent one I did was Team EOS, um, which is, it, it's a decent um, firmware. It's very basic, kind of like Revolver, um, but it's a bit buggier, and the performance, as you can see, is not quite as good. Um, stock is about 5,000, this is about 4788 for Antutu. Although I have noticed battery life is pretty good. Um, without the dock, it's not, which is odd, but with the dock, I've been getting only 5% and 4% drain over 10%. Uh, Wi-Fi on, sync on, all that stuff. Um, but without the dock, I've got 4% once. I tried it like three other times, it froze up every time. Um, so it's... If you're going to get this, you're definitely going to want to install Customer Kernel, but because I'm comparing this stock, I'm not going to do that. Um, so, as you can see here, it does have minus 9 for um, issues with it, whereas the others have minus 5 and minus 7. AOKP is kind of buggy, um, but this is just so many booting issues, boot looping, um, completely draining the battery when you leave it on, bad, stuff like that. Um, pretty easy fix with the Custom Kernel, but still, you shouldn't have that kind of problem. Um, not much bloatware, just the uh, basic settings, it has a built-in overclock. Um, the built-in kernel has an overclock, but again, the kernel's not good. <clears throat> uh, not too many features, but it is very fluid. <clears throat> um, the only thing more fluid is stock, which is kind of surprising. Usually stock isn't as fluid, but the stock Asus firmware is very, very good. And I only have about 27 seconds of recording left, I haven't wiped my card, so I'm going to wrap this up. So the last one I have to do is Revolver. Um, this is the ice cream sandwich version. I will be doing that right after I finish the two-hour uh, HD movie test on EOS. So you can expect these results to be out within another week, two weeks. I know I keep saying that, but running out of time, so I'll see y'all later. Please rate and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.